You're getting filled up with Ray. Welcome to today's episode, Materials. Materials, yay! Hello there, and welcome to the very first episode of Getting Felt Up with Ray. I'm your host, Raylene, and today, this episode is going to focus on all the materials you'll need in order to get started in the craft of needle felting. Needle felting is super simple, and if you're looking for a fun and easy craft to get into, I totally recommend this one. This episode will provide some useful information on how to get started, as well as some of the things you might want to invest in in the future as you create more complex projects. Below, I'll be sure to include links where I found all of my supplies. So let's get started. The best place to start is answering the question, what the heck is needle felting? Well, needle felting is a hobby for many crafters that uses wool and a specialized needle to entangle the fibers of the wool in order to create those little adorable sculptures. Like this and this. Oh, hey Esteban. Needles. I love it. There are a few things that are absolutely must-haves if you plan on getting started. So the first thing you need in order to needle felt is, well, needles. So this is your needle. First off, this is really sharp. How sharp? Well, super sharp to be exact. So watch out because you can really poke the shit out of yourself. Take a look at the tip of the needle. You see those little dots at the end? Those are actually grooves, and these grooves catch the wool and pull the fibers down so that it will entangle into the wool below. So here's the needle I just showed you. This is your basic needle. It'll do the job for just about any project. In addition to the basic needle, there are other devices that you can buy, including this one. This is a single needle, but with a more ergonomic grip. This happens to be my personal favorite. Needles break frequently. This one includes a cap to prevent breakage when not in use. If it does break, you can replace the original needle by screwing off the cap, inserting a new needle, and then screwing it back on. You can purchase replacement needles, like these, which we'll talk about in just a sec. Moving right along, the next device is a multi-needle tool. This one works great for larger projects. It covers a wider surface area with all of these multi-needles. This too is also interchangeable, so if you break a needle, you can definitely replace it. The protective sleeve does help prevent self-mutilation. Ask any junkie and they'll tell you, nothing works better than a fresh needle. This is a package of replacement needles. They come in fine as well as coarse and you can use them to refill your needle instruments or you can use them on their own. Whoa, it's cool. The next item on your shopping list is wool roving. Wool roving is wool that has yet to be spun into yarn. This is the material that we will use to create our projects. Take a look at the textures. Notice that one is coarse and the other is fine. A fine one like this can be more difficult to needle felt. Many crafting stores will sell needle felting supplies, including Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby if you hate women's rights. They all sell packages of wool roving. This package is a multicolor package, which will set you back about six bucks. Take a look at the texture. It's a little on the coarse side, and in my opinion, it's the perfect texture for needle felting. Work surface, super. The last essential item you'll need is a work surface. This spongy pad works great for small projects. As you're sculpting your project, the needle may penetrate all the way through. Using a pad of some sort will prevent you from destroying the furniture underneath. It'll also prevent your needles from breaking. 
When I first started, I recycled a piece of packaging styrofoam, which worked just fine in a pinch. Another more expensive alternative are these needle felting brush mats. This is more expensive, but it works well for shaping the flatter pieces of your project. Finally, we have my personal favorite, a high density foam pad. You can get this at any fabric store and have them cut it to your desired size. What? There's more? Here are some additional items that might be helpful for you in creating your projects. They're not necessary, and some you might already even have around the house. For example, scissors, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, pipe cleaner and wire, glue, craft eyes, needle and twine, and key ring. So head on down to the store, grab all the materials that we talked about in today's episode, and come back and watch our next video, which will be talking all about techniques. So that wraps up this episode of Getting Felt Up with Ray. Esteban, did you want to say bye? 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 No? See ya!